I bought the Gold Zero Yeti 1250 as well as the Gold Zero solar panels. I bought both the suitcase one and the 30 watt solar panel. The suitcase was rated for 100 and the solar panel was rated for 30. We're using them now outside just to see how if we can both charge and use at the same time and what if any drop off in power we experience. Oh, it's a perfect day for solar energy. No clouds in the sky. I think because it's full, I'm only pulling small wattage right now. I'm gonna use it to drain some of the power. I have this and this. And it's a really sunny day with no clouds. So I think once it gets full, it doesn't accept any more charge. panels, really three panels. This now is while charging, we'll continue to charge while we use the air blower. Let's go ahead and power that on. Pulling 91 with with both units. I'm going to unplug the smaller unit here. Let's see how much it drops by. So it dropped by 21. So that means so this this panel the max input is 30 watts, and it's pulling 21. So that's actually pretty good. Whereas the other one is pulling about 70, and its max input is 100. So. Okay, so it was only a 30% loss on that, and I guess a 30% loss on that, roughly. Okay, a few minutes later, we are now topped off at zero. We're fully charged. We've reached the goal of zero, and there's no more, no more solar power being collected into the goal zero. We're fully charged. I'll be putting links in the description below for these goal zero solar panels as well as the Goal Zero battery solar generator. I'm happy with my purchase. The only thing I would do different is I would buy the lithium ion version whereas this was the lead acid which weighs like 100 pounds and the lithium one weighs like less than half at around 40 pounds. Plus it has a better capacity and recharge cycles. But all in all I'm very happy with Goal Zero. They seem to be the premium brand for solar power. You have been watching the Tech Nuba channel. Consider liking and subscribing.